Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. I am a comfort killer, and I'm coming to you again on a beautiful day to tell you about this here gem here, the comfort killer is your journey to success, how to change your life using tools you already have. Today is a very important, vital, vital topic, vital discussion. Why? Because, I'll tell you why. I've put a question out to the universe. I've put a question out, I say, hey guys, hey, would you rather have the determination to live or the fear to die? Which one you think will allow you to really have the strength, right? What will give you the strength to achieve? Is it the fear or the determination? And that leads me to talk about the top quality of success. There's all these qualities, and we're going to talk about all of them, and all of them are really important. But I want to give you today, I want to let, let you leave with this thing, because you're, you're going to have an aha moment. Because when I thought about it, and I brought it back to the basics, I said, oh snap, if I look at everything this way, I could crush fear. So that's the byproduct of today's episode, and I'm doing both. I got here the podcast, so all my podcast people, what up? And then I got my YouTubers right here, all my YouTubers, what up? So I'm going to take a second to say, share this out. If you have found value in this here episode, and share it out. Don't be a hoarder of information. Don't be selfish. This shit is bigger than you, okay? You can't stop. It. It's bigger than you. The more people you help, the more success you have. Who said it? Hey, send me an email. I want you to know. I want to know if you know who said that. It's a quick trivia. Keep it fun. Keep it spicy. Who said the more people you help, the richer you will get? Or, or variation, okay? All right, so what I have here, and the people in my podcast cannot see this. I can't even hold it up. I, I'm holding it, I'm tossing it, but it's too heavy. It is the Webster's Universal, New Universal, Unabridged Dictionary. How many pages? You want to take a guess how many pages is in here? Just take a guess. Just take a guess, real quick. Just A guess is a real quick thing. 500. 500 pages, okay. Well, let's see. Guys, I picked this up at the local Salvation Army. All right. Damn. Oh, you said 500? Yeah. Shit. Come on, girl. Okay. I'm on the last word here without going into the index or the biography or whatever. It's 2,129 words in my dictionary. I don't mess. I used to have these little small pocket dictionaries. There's one right here. Look at this. So how many pages? I said 2,129. Oh, you said words. Nah, so. I'm at. <laughs> It's about a million, fifty million words in here. I used to rock, I used to walk with this pocket Merriam-Webster dictionary, and I and you know it, it did what it needed to do. Told me two lines of what I thought words were. Hey, we comfort killers, get in the habit of looking up words. Okay, I can look up a word right here, right now that'll eliminate your entire paradigm of wrong communication. And it'll straight up say, oh my God, that's what I was really thinking about? Um, let's actually, let, let's shatter your paradigm right now with, with uh, definition of the word nice, okay? So the reason why I want you to look up words is because sometimes we are, we are we're actually under a spell, saying things the wrong way, not understanding the meaning of it. And that's, that's why I want to talk about the top quality, the top trait of success of how you get success, uh, you know, what is that one trait that will make you likely to succeed if you have this one trait and you really work at that trait? And besides all the other traits, what's the one trait that will really get you closer to success, that will really get it? All right, so let's look up the word nice because before that I want to shatter your paradigm. Do you have to do this, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, I do. <laughs> Yeah, so look, where am I? A, B, C, D, F, G, O, B, uh, N, O, P. Okay, <laughs> I got it. M, N, M. Okay, nice. Let's look it up because I guess again, what do you think the word nice means? You know, and you're using it in a sentence. Oh, that 
you know, be a little more nicer. Be nice, you know. Be, you know, what, how do you, would you put it in a sentence, uh, be nice? I'm nice, I'm nice to people. You're nice to people. Be nice to others. Be nice to others. That's what I was taught. Right. Be nice to others. Okay, so in here, according to the new universal unabridged, 2,129 words, uh, pages, I'm sorry, pages, uh, dictionary, nice actually means this. Simple, foolish, ignorant, not knowing. Man. It's like when you say, oh, she's so nice. She's so ignorant. <laughs> she's so ignorant. She's so foolish. Oh, you want to live up to the expectations of others. You want to be nice to others. You're using it in the wrong context. I'm telling you right now. That's why I want to talk about the top qualities. That's why we want to dig deeper. And I'm going to give you that one quality that I'm telling you, work on this quality. That's all you need to do. Work on this one quality. Get that up to par. Get strength in that. Increase that quality. And that's all you got to worry about. Okay. So let's get to it. And before that, subscribe, it, guys, on the podcast, man. On the podcast, subscribe and leave a review because that's how it, it helps. The, it helps the podcast. You know, bottom line, it just helps. I'm going to go back to the Webster's Dictionary in a little bit, but I, let's start talking about the qualities here. And the moment you hear a quality and you think that it is the top quality, say yes, this got to be it. You know, yes, this is the quality. Because I'm telling you, all the qualities that I'm gonna give you right now, they have everything to do with the top quality, right? But only one can be the top, top, top quality, right? All right, so discipline. What do you think about discipline? It's a great quality to have. In fact, I don't see anybody doing things without discipline, right? If you don't have the discipline, the disciple, why, why don't we look that word up? You want to look up discipline? Have you ever looked up the word discipline? When you use a dictionary, it's actually not to look up words you already think you know. Because you probably don't know. You see, you see it with the word um, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, why, why even look it up? So, you because you got to know. Right? Because we got to be in communication, man. Often... We're just putting ourselves outside of communication. It's not doing us too good. And subscribe to the YouTube channel too. Because I'm dropping, man. I'm freaking, I'm insane now. I'm insane. All right, let's talk about discipline. I should have had these things already looked up. But it's all good. Discipline, here it is. Just like this. All right, I got it. Discipline, instruction, training, okay? Training that develops self-control, character, or orderliness, orderliness and efficiency. The result of such training, self-control, orderly conduct, a system of rules or methods, okay? Subjected, subjection to rule. Submissiveness to control. Discipline. This, you know, I'm, while I'm looking it up, I'm thinking because, you know, it's from the word disciple, right? Mm -hmm. So disciple is in there and it, the disciple is to teach, to train or bring up, to convert, right? So when you talk about Jesus Christ and the disciples, their mission, their whole, their whole is a learner. They're learning, right? And then when we move into discipline, it says here that it's rules, right? Training. So people would think that, oh my God, I'm disciplined. But what are you training? What are you training on, right? So in order to be disciplined, in order to have self-control, in order to have an orderly conduct, one must go through instruction and training. Simple, right? Simple. But that's not the top quality. It's a great quality, but it's not the top quality. 
All right, so let's move on. What about confidence? You think you need confidence to succeed and to get, let's say, to make a million dollars. You think you need some confidence? Yes, part of it. Part of it, right? I mean, let's be real. You got to have some confidence about you. But let me ask you a question. And this is when I started thinking about this whole thing here. And when we get into the top, you'll understand. When the toddler is, is starting to walk, okay? Mama, mama says, toddler, go out there on the rug, start walking. There's an instinctual thing, desire to walk as a human. It's an innate feeling, like I gotta move forward, I gotta keep growing, right? Toddler stands up at the couch. Toddler looks across the way, sees a toy, sees whatever, they want, it says, I got to get to it. I got to get to that thing. Okay, some Cheerios on the ground. I got to get to it. Some color, some, some toy. I got to go get to it. Toddler gets up. Is that, is that toddler confident at that point? What do you think? What do you think? Yes. Yes. So the toddler is confident in their ability to walk at the point where the toddler gets up. And says, I'm going to do it. Never walked before. Um, no. No, absolutely no. not. I, the toddler is not confident. Okay? Curious. Curious maybe, but not confident. Because confidence says, hey, listen, you know. There's certain things here I didn't know. When I walked out the seminar and said, bro, I got to change my life. I didn't know what the hell to do first. I was curious about it. I wasn't disciplined and I didn't know nothing yet. But I jumped over. I had this instinctual desire to go forward. When the toddler falls down after trying, is that toddler just a little bit more confident? Yes. Yes. Just a little bit more. Not all the way full blown. Toddler ain't running yet. Toddler just tried fell let me get up and try again so let me ask you a question is confidence a needed quality a top quality to become highly successful yes you say yes i say no mm. you know why i say no because i just told you the baby wasn't confident but started walking gained the confidence on the way and then became successful in walking. So it's part of it. It's part of it. Not all these qualities that I'm talking about, it's definitely part of it. It's definitely the whole approach. I'm trying to get down to that one thing that you need that you can't do without right. to become highly successful. But I'm telling you, most people look for confidence first. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I gotta find my confidence. I can't move without my confidence. I can't start a podcast without confidence. I can't do a video without the confidence. I get that toy okay I'm just trying to go don't even know what confidence is you get confidence on the way don't let that uh, stop you and you don't need to try to learn that first boom that's that's a big one Cause I'm thinking about this I'm like oh man I want to get to the one I want to get to that one quality man that we need here goes here goes another piece self-belief ha this one's huge man Again, if you think that's the top quality, tell me right now, self-belief, is that the top quality? What do you think? I think everything's part of the process. It's, it, again, again, yeah. you're right. It's part of the process. You're right. It's, you need it. You need some belief about yourself. Probably not number one, but it's at the top. It's at the top, man. Belief is, is real. Like, you know, um, I'm just trying, I'm putting it into, again, when I looked, when I look, hey guys, I hope you're listening to these podcasts because then you can know my story. You know, when I was at the seminar, I walked out of that seminar, man. I just, I put the seminar, there's a free seminar on Valentine's Day weekend and I walked the hell out of it. 
I walked out of it because I looked at the stage and I said, does that guy know more than I do? Is that guy smarter than me? What is the difference? Why is he on stage and I'm not? Why is he teaching a crowd and I'm in the crowd? Does he have more self-belief than me? Is he more confident than me? Sure, right? Hey, I'm not there. But when I walked out of that seminar, I went home and I developed the comfort killers. Where did that self-belief just magically come from? Was it always in me? Did I, what, 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 what do you think that self-belief came from? Shit, I didn't know, okay? I just did. I just, I just had pure action, I did not know. All right, so self-belief is very important, it's vital. I think it's freaking necessary, man. It's, it's, if you guys a lot tons of self-belief, great. But it's not the top quality though. Okay? So you can literally start from a place of doubt, not knowing who you are, not knowing what you want to do, and become a millionaire. This is what we're talking about. And become and do great things and influence and take yourself and stretch yourself and write four books. Do a movie. Go to Hollywood. Act. Whatever you want to do, bro. It's it's in your hands. But self-belief isn't all. Okay. We're gonna go right here. Because you know what, you know what another thing too, is that sometimes you knock yourself down. There's going to be time when you're confident on one level, and then you have no confidence on the other level. Right, you just moved up a level, and there's no, you have no confidence on the second level. You, now your self-belief diminishes once you move up too, right? You get to different stages and levels of yourself. You don't just, you're not like, oh my god, I have fear. I have fear. Just like anybody else. I'm not trying to eliminate fear or say I'm fearless. Every part, everything that I move into, there's some fear there. I just move through it. That's it. How about being lucky? No. No. Yeah, some people are lucky. Some people are some lucky. I know. You guys got lucky charms, clover leaves, rabbit feet. In your pocket, man. You guys are just lucky. You know some people, you're like, damn, you're just lucky, man. Right place, right time. It happens. Luck. It happens, right? There's some luck in the game, you know. I, you know, when I first started, I came out at the right time, you know. Worked with many people, and I feel great about it. Wrote my book at the right time. Hey, by the way, let me give a shout out to my book. Are you one of us? Are you a comfort killer? Do you love what I'm putting out right now? Because in this book here, exact steps, precise steps, took out the fluff to show you how to get from comfort to purpose. I give it to you exactly how I did it. I left nothing out, okay? Told you exactly what I had to do, and I overcame a nine-year gambling addiction to get to this point. To even write a book, okay? I want you to write your book. I want you to do great things, man. I want you to succeed, bottom line. So go get that book, thecomfortkillers.com. So being lucky, we just both agree that that's not one of the top qualities. It's good to have, okay? But you don't got to have the money tree all over your house to become a millionaire. Good. How about the ability to focus? What do you think, podcast world? That's important. It's important, right? All of these things, I think, they're very important. The ability to focus. Focus is a thing. Hey, man, it goes hand-in-hand -hand with discipline, hand-in-hand -hand with belief. It's, it's all of it, it's, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I think focus is big, but I don't think it's the top quality because if you're, if, let's say you got ADHD and then ABCDEFG, you got all of it, okay? All of it, they put it on you. Dyslexia, I even said, I said it wrong. Dix, that's why I know I'm just, I don't know. Okay, all I know is that you could have a lot of things, a lot of conditions, your inability to focus. You got to pop freaking Xanax, okay, because you're all over the place, no Ritalin. Why would you take, why would you take these things, okay? Messes with your, your, your chemical, your chemical makeup and your neurons and synapse, okay? How do I know that? I know things. But, hey, listen, there's other ways to do it. But the ability to focus, I know some people... They're all over the wall. You know what they do? They can't focus. You know what they do? How they beat it? They hire people that can focus. So the ability to focus is not the top quality here. Okay? It's a good quality. Work on it. If you got it, high five. But it's just not the top quality. And I know you're saying, Stacey, what was Stacey? Come on, please. Tell me. 
what is the top quality then? I want to get to that. Here about here's this. Let me give you one more, and then we'll go see if this is the top quality. If not, we'll go right into what is the top quality then. All right. So how about the knack of learning? The learners, the learners out there. You think so? I got Barbara. Say what up, Barbara. I know they hear you already. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> Barbara is here. She is the control booth. She's in control of the control booth. And she's <laughs> answering. Um, email me, hello at thecomfortkillers.com. You know, again, the comfort killers, your journey to success. I got a journal that you need, okay? Uh, one of the few first things that I learned to do was write my whole life down. And uh, not the sad parts, you know, like the diary. It's not, it's not the diary, okay? It's a journal, which means totally different. I want to teach you how to write in your journal, okay? Um, the knack for learning, you said no. No? Why not? Well, it's definitely not the top. Definitely not the top. So you're saying if you're, in, in, if you're not able to become a student of the game, it's not a top quality? No. 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 I, I agree with that. No, it's not. It's not. When I heard this and I put it in the terms, you remember the two questions I asked you? What will give you the strength to succeed? What will keep you here? What will make you persevere? Is it the determination to the determination to live or the fear of death? Man, that's powerful. These are two questions I ask myself. I want to give you the definition of the top quality before I even tell you what the top quality is. Don't try to look at where I'm going in my 2,129 page Webster Unabridged New Universal Dictionary. Go to your local Salvation Army. Somebody left their dictionary behind. How much was this one? Seven bucks. Seven dollars, man. Seven dollars. This this pack right here with the vocabulary builder, <laughs> the thesaurus, the thesaurus, and this dictionary was probably twenty dollars. Okay. And this right here, this big boy, I call it the big boy. This big boy was seven dollars, man. So hey, don't don't sleep on the Salvation Army. Pick up your books. I love going there for books. That's why I go to the Salvation. Drop off some things that I no longer need, and I love going there. For books. So let me read you A, B, C, D, F, G, H, F. <laughs> um, the definition here. All right. This now, I'm talking about the, the top quality needed for success, the top quality needed to succeed, the top quality needed to. to to gain wealth, the top quality needed to lose the weight, the top quality needed to start the business, the top quality you need to gain anything you want in life, to gain it, to overcome anything, the top quality you need to be the best parent out there, the top quality you need to become the president, or is it? That one I just threw in there. <laughs> Cause I don't, look, I don't need no qualities, bro. I just say I'm the president. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't care if you're left, right, up, down, sideways, in the middle. This show is about you. This show is about developing the you, baby. It's about finding the purpose, man. We don't care about who's in the White House. We gotta take care of our own house. And I'm talking deeper inside our house inside us inside who we are internally because we cannot change the without without changing the within and when we focus on the inner man the inner game we can do anything we want here let me show you this here man i got all my books i love this i love this right here let me talk about this this book is by trump okay Trump and uh, Bill Zanker think big and kick ass. I said to myself, I got, I think I, yeah, here it is. Here. I actually stopped at this page right here. I don't think you can see it. Podcast world, you definitely can't see it. I 
like folded the hell out of this page. You see that fold? Yes. Um, here, hold that. Tell me what it says right there in that, uh, the headline of that. This one? Yeah, what I folded. Get out of your comfort zone. Woo! Trump, what the hell you know about it? Okay, we went all the way out of our comfort zone. Let me read this real quick. It says here, I pride myself on my competitiveness and my drive to transcend the ordinary. You have to constantly challenge yourself to achieve greater and greater accomplishments. To do that, you have to leave your, say it, comfort zone. Right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Right. <laughs> but I'm just like, you just don't know, huh? You didn't you get it. You better get the juice. You better get that juice. Okay, we're, we're, we're working on Barbara's juice, okay? <laughs> She's like, comfort zone. When, you, when I point, it's comfort zone, baby. Because the podcast world needs to hear you, okay? I have become one of the biggest developers in New York. There is tremendous competition in New York, and I'm always on my toes trying to do better. I also compete with myself. That I circled that piece. So, hey, listen, listen. I, again, I don't care if you're left, right, up, down, sideways, in between, in the middle, can't think, can't do, independent, uh, up, upside down. It's not about that. I'm talking about your inner. Man, I, I'm working on your inner game, your comfort zone. I, I, I move you from comfort to purpose. That's why I'm here. Here's a definition, guys. It is... <laughs> with a disposition to hold fast what is possessed firmly determinedly okay holding fast or firmly retentiveness apt to retain long what is committed to it holds together strongly That is the top quality. People say, "Stay." Well, what is it? Okay, I'll tell you what it is. Tenacity. Tenacity is the top quality. Hip. Let's see. What's this? Hip. I can't answer right now. I can't answer right now. I gotta get this out. I gotta get this out. To be tenacious means that you are determined no matter what. You will hold on to that tree. Let's say, what tree stays? What tree? You're in a hurricane. Okay. The hurricane wind speeds is 105 miles per hour. The winds gushing across your face. Your shoes flew off a long time ago. You're holding on to this tree. The tree is bending back and forth and sideways. You hear the wind whipping past your eardrum. Things are being blown everywhere treetops cars tires baby diapers you're holding on for dear life why because you're determined to live you don't fear death at that point you're determined to live what holds you on that tree in hurricane weather is your determination your determinedness the baby, the toddler, is determined. Doesn't care about confidence, belief, being lucky. Get out of here. I'm just determined to get there. When riding a bike, and I'm going to bring it back to me. When I first rode my bike, I didn't even have tires on it. Straight up and down. There were sparks flying everywhere. I just wanted to ride this bike. I wanted to learn. My brother said, this is what we have. Okay, I'm jumping on it. I fell. Straight things. I'm jumping back on it. I am determined to ride this bike. If you want to make a million dollars, if you want to lose weight, whatever it is, Fuck self-belief at this point. Fuck being lucky. 